Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars. Right, what's up, GFAM? Giants 19 5 coming at you today on Thanksgiving with the week 12 picks. Hope everybody's enjoying the Thanksgiving, enjoying the company and the friends and family, and just picking out on all kinds of food because that's what Thanksgiving is for, uh, besides all of the friends and family moments. So, today uh, we got all the three headed monsters, the three headed, three headed uh, games today on Thanksgiving Vikings and the Lions. I'm gonna try to run through this picks as, these picks as quick as I can. I'm gonna pick the Vikings over the Lions because their defense is gonna probably to me what's gonna win their, this game. The Cowboys and the Redskins, there's no way in hell the Redskins are gonna win this game. And to me, the Cowboys have been playing lights out as much as it hurts to say that. Ezekiel Elliott and uh, Dak Prescott have been playing phenomenal, way above everybody, blah, 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 everybody's expectations. So I'm picking the Cowboys over the Redskins. Steelers and the Colts, the Steelers need a win after that disappointing loss to uh, Dallas a couple weeks ago. So I hope you know, they can find a rhythm and just come out and beat the Colts because the Colts, it won't be a blowout, but the Colts always do find a way to score. Uh, Saints and Rams, uh, that's, this, this is going to be a freaking wreckage for the Rams. The Rams are going to get their ass beat. The Saints, Drew Brees always finds a way to score. Him and Brandon Cooks uh, and that, that rookie Michael Thomas always find a way to score. Defensively, the Saints are terrible, so I'm picking the Saints over the Rams. Cardinals and the Falcons. To me, the Falcons are going to beat the beat the Cardinals. The Cardinals aren't as good as they they used to be last year, and I predict Julio Jones just to go off against Patrick Peterson. Chargers and the Texans. This is the tough one because to me they're both equally matched. But I think offensive wise, Brock Brock Osweiler has more to work with. So I'm picking the Texans. Bengals and the Ravens. The Bengals aren't as good as they used to be. Uh, aren't as good as they used to be uh, at all. So I'm picking the Ravens to beat the Bengals. Seahawks and Buccaneers. The Seahawks defense is playing lights out. The Seahawks always play great the second half of the season. They didn't play too great this first half of the season, but they always play lights out the second half. So I think you know the Seahawks take no and take uh, no mercy on anybody. So I picked the Seahawks to beat the Bucks this week. Panthers and the Raiders. Uh, this is going to be a Raiders win without a doubt. The Panthers haven't been playing as well as they used as they were last year. I'm, I'm a Cam Newton fan. But he hasn't been playing as good as everybody thought he would be this year. So I'm picking the Raiders over the Panthers. Titans and the Bears. The Titans are going to completely wreck the Bears. The Bears gave us a run for our money in the first half of the when they played us this past week. But we ended up coming out with a win. So I predict Marcus Mariota to completely throw at least maybe three touchdowns on the Bears this week. Giants and the Browns. If we don't underestimate the Browns as, uh, as we did Chicago, we'll come out with the win. And I predict Alda Beckham at least get two touchdowns and the Giants win over the Browns this week. The Bills and the Jaguars, I'm picking the Bills to beat the Jaguars because the Bills are overall a better team than, than New, uh, Jacksonville. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Dolphins and 49ers. I'm going to pick the Dolphins over the 49ers. Both teams are pretty bad, but I think, uh, man, I can't even say offensive lead. They're both deep, both sides of the ball are terrible. I'm going to go with the Dolphins over the 49ers. I don't know why. I really don't. Uh, Patriots and Jets, the AFC East rivalry between these guys is always great to watch. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the Patriots over the Jets. Uh, the Jets haven't been playing as well as they have. The defensive line isn't good. And plus, you can Del, Darrell Rivas has really been showing his age. Chiefs and Broncos, I believe that the Broncos will win this one mainly based on their defense. I believe the defense of the Broncos is just slightly better than the Chiefs. Offensively, the Chiefs are a hell of a lot better. Trevor Simeon is not the answer in Denver. I don't know who is. You should have tried to start. You know, Paxton, maybe he can be like a Dak Prescott for you guys. I don't know. But they need a quarterback desperately. Final game of the week will be the Packers and the Eagles. I'm predicting the Packers to completely come into Philly and completely wreck the Eagles after their loss against Minnesota uh, Miss uh, Minnesota uh, Redskins this past week. I think they lost 42-24, to which was the, la the first, second time this year they lost by 40 points the last time it was against the Titans. So I think Aaron Rodgers is going to find some way, somehow, somebody's going to step up and they're going to beat the Eagles this Monday night. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoying your holiday, the, ho the ho Thanksgiving. Hope you guys enjoying the holiday season coming up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Also, drop a like if you did. Drop a comment. Hit the subscribe button if you're brand new and you want to see more. Hope see you guys next time. John Smiley, let's get this winning. I'm addicted to the thrill. Uh -huh. It's a dangerous love. Stop. Stop.